what is up guys and it's been a while i've been busy editing and in this simple video i'm going to show you guys how you do the typewriter effect but you're like peter wait a minute yes one line is cool but what if i want to do a whole darn paragraph in a typewriter effect yes you can do that too i'm going to show you how in this video So as you can see here guys, we are in After Effects 2021, 20, 2022, doesn't really matter. All you want to do is you create a new composition, leave it at whatever aspect ratio you want. Let's go 1920, 1080p, 8K 16 by 9, duration, leave it as is. So what we're going to do is all you need to do is you click your type text tool right here in the corner. And you draw your square and you want to type whatever it is you want to type, right? Subscribe to BVCCO. How you want to do next is you want to highlight that, hold control, double click your uh, pen behind and that will center your text. Go down into your align tool. So you can put that right in the middle. Now is you have your text layer. Next you want to do is you click this drop down arrow right here, go to animate, and you want to do character offset. Next is you want to go to animator one, go to add property, and you want to go to opacity. Opacity, you want to put this to zero, and then you go back to your animator one, your range selector, and you want to play around with the offset. As you can see, it already has that entire typewriter effect and I didn't have to do much, right? Literally two simple clips. So next what you wanna do is you can go to advanced and you can change the smoothness. So this is essentially taking away that little harsh or it's, as you can see now, if I go back to the offset, it is much more harsh in terms of the transitions. So that is the typewriter effect. So all you need to do now is you go to keyframe your offset Put that as zero and drag wherever it is you want. Let's go to eight seconds. Drag your offset to 100%. Right now, if you play that, there is your typewriter effect. Really simple, and you can do this with a whole darn paragraph without having to do line by line if you're in Adobe Premiere. And same thing applies if you want the text to go a little bit faster, all you need to do is drag this keyframe. So it's like, instead of seven seconds, it is two seconds. And for a little bonus, what you can do is you can select all your keyframes, F9, easy ease, so the text gets a little bit more eased in with the animations. And that is how you do the typewriter effect, even if it is an entire paragraph. So you don't have to do it line by line in Premiere. And like I said, all you need to do now is to add, let's say, a little flicker to this or some sound design, and you have your typewriter effect. Really darn simple, eh? And that, guys, is how you do the typewriter effect in After Effects. If you want to see exactly more of a beginner version of this, you can check out the Premiere Pro, which allows you to do one line of the typewriter effect, as well as if you want to make it a little more fancy, you can add sound design. You can add a typewriter sound to it in accordance to how your words or your letters go. But that is how you do it. If you want to get serious about video editing and taking your career to the next level and doing freelancing, check that out in the description below. As well as if you want a whole month full free for Skillshare so you can have access to all my editing courses like learning Premiere in under 30 minutes, guaranteed. Link in the description below. My name is Peter. You're watching Broke Visionary Collective where we all start with nothing, but you can always create something.